Hi, and thank you for joining me on PV31 in the 21. I just wanted to say thank you to all of those that have commented or called or encouraged me in person just to let me know how valuable this uh, interview and podcast and information that I'm sending on Facebook has been to you. So thank you so much. Today we're going to talk about the story of the coffee bean. And if you've never heard it, um, I just wanted to encourage you to let you know that life happens to all of us. And we don't always get to determine what's happening to us, but we can determine what's happening in us. You know, responsibility is our ability to respond to life. And in that, we have the choice to get bitter or better. And so here's the story of the coffee bean. There once was a mother who was cooking in the kitchen and her daughter walked in and she was complaining about some of the things that had gone in her life and at school that day. And the mother who has, had been a chef actually encouraged her to just come alongside her at the stove. And so she came over and she took out carrots from the refrigerator. She took out an egg and she took out coffee beans. And she took the carrots and she put them in boiling water. And then she took the egg and she put that hole in boiling water inside the shell. And then she took the coffee beans and she stuck that in the third pot. And as time went on, they visited. But what happened is after the time was over, she pulled them all off. She let them cool down and she had her daughter come over and she did this object lesson with her. She had her spoon out the carrots out of the pot and put it into a little dish. Then she took the hard boiled egg and she let it cool cracked it open and set that separately, and then obviously poured themselves a cup of coffee. And the mother said, what do you observe? And she said, well, carrots, eggs, and coffee. And she said, but tell me what you saw. When the carrots went in, what were, how were they? And she said, they were hard and stiff. And she goes, and now? And she goes, they're mushy and boiled. She goes, okay, how about the egg? And she said, well, the egg was liquid and soft and jelly on the inside, but it hardened through the boiling process. She said, what about the coffee? It's like, well, the coffee changed the water. And the mom was trying to make the point that to say, life is going to happen. That boiling process is going to happen to every single one of us. We're going to get put in situations and circumstances that seem unfair and unjust, sometimes on a daily and momentary basis. And yet in that, we get to choose if we let it soften us to the point where we're weak and feel like we can't overcome, if we let it harden us so that we can't be compassionate and the true woman of God to create that nurturing environment for the people who look to us for it, but instead allow us to change our environment, to choose responsibility, our ability to choose our response to those things that are happening to us. So I just want to encourage you today that no matter where you've been or what you've been through, that God is a God of mercy and grace, that he's a God of new beginnings. And today you can make the choice no matter how long you've been hardened, no matter how long you've been in that situation where you feel weak and, and over-empowered and someone else putting superimposing their will onto you, instead of letting it make you better, instead of causing it to crush you, change the environment around you. Choose to allow God to soften those places that have hardened, to strengthen you in those places where you started to doubt yourself. And in that, today can be a day of new beginnings. So let me just pray for you. God, I just thank you for all the amazing women who would watch this video to recognize that life is going to happen to every single one of us. And in that, Lord, that you have a plan and a purpose for their lives. That, Lord, instead of being influenced by their circumstances, they will become influencers of the environments around them to create a positive impact. So I just bless them. I thank you for adding to this um, podcast and these videos daily to share with women across the table and around the world the truths that you've imparted to myself and the other women who join me. Thank you so much for taking a minute to join me today. I do want to encourage you that we have launched our podcast, which is PV31 in the 21. Also, you can find us on Facebook at that same address, Instagram, or Twitter. 
Also, last thing I just want to let you know is that we've actually gotten some marketing materials. And so I would encourage you, if you journal, this is a perfect resource to let you get those thoughts, that the things that God is doing in you when you spend your devotional time to write them down so that you can remember all the places that God has brought you from and the places that he's taking you to. So thank you so much for taking a minute with me. I appreciate um, the fact that you've been sharing it. Our very first video just cleared a thousand views and that is you. So again, thank you for helping PV31 and the 21 help me reach women from across the table to all around the world, one like and one share at a time. God bless.